A new exhibition has opened in the French city of Strasbourg, showcasing dozens of artworks looted by the Nazis during the Second World War. An unknown number of paintings and sculptures were stolen by Hitler's regime, and many remain unaccounted for. The BBC's Tim Ullman has the story. Works of art, works of plunder. Portraits, still lives, each and every one of them stolen from their rightful owners. This exhibition is a reminder of humanity's capacity both for creativity and cruelty. You should know there were two privileged recipients from the looting. First of all, there was Hitler's project for a central museum in Linz, very close to his hometown. Then the second one, and you have to imagine it was pure theft, was for Goering's private collection. In this Aladdin's cave of stolen art treasures, everything that glitters is gold. No one really knows how many works of art were looted during the war. Tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. Some taken from occupied countries, many taken from Jewish families. After the war, some of the looted art was returned to its original owners, assuming they could be tracked down or were still alive. But much of it remains in limbo unaccounted for to this day. The ideal goal would be that at the end of this exhibition, the artworks would not return to the walls of their four respective museums, but they would return to the descendants of their legitimate owners. Nearly 200 artworks since the 1950s have been returned to their rightful owners. The exhibition runs until May next year. Its organisers say they won't stop trying to find the original owners of this art. They insist it's a mission, and above all else, a moral duty. Tim Ullman, BBC News.